Hello and welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called FTP Backbone FAF. Backbone FAF is a complementary technology to Uplink FAF, whereas Uplink FAF is designed to quickly respond to failures on the links directly connected to the access layer switches. It does not help in the case of indirect failures in the core of the backbone. This is where Backbone FAF comes in. Backbone FAF can reduce the indirect failover performance from the normal 50 seconds to about 30 seconds. When the switch loses its link back to the root switch, it needs to find an alternate path back to the root switch. We see that the access layer switch is blocking the interface to the backup switch to prevent switching loops from forming. The idea behind Backbone FAST is that if the access layer switch can confirm it still has a connection to the root switch, then it can ignore the max age timer and immediately start the listening and learning process on any interface that it receives inferior BPDUs. 20 seconds after the indirect link failure, the backup switch will assume that it is the new route and start sending BPDUs toward the access layer switch declaring it is the route. However, the access layer switch We'll see that these are inferior BPDUs and ignore them. After the access layer switch interface has gone through the listening and learning state, it will reach the forwarding state where it will allow communication between the root switch and the backup switch. The spanning tree, backbone fast command, is used to configure backbone fast to a switch. We should note that Backbone FAF is a global command and has to be enabled on every switch in your local network for it to work correctly. Cisco Packet Tracer was created for CCNA students and does not possess the ability to simulate the Backbone FAF command on its virtual switches. But by the magic of video manipulation, I am going to cheat in order to display what you might see if it did support the command. We are looking at two groups of switches. Let's pretend that we have already configured Backbone FAF on all three switches on the right hand side. The BPDUs originate from the root switch and spreads out to the rest of the network. Let's create an indirect link failure by shutting down the interface between the root switch and the backup switch in both groups and see how much time it takes for spanning tree to create a new topology. First, we see that the link lights between the root switch and the backup switches have turned red because the interface ports have a link failure. The backup switches no longer have a direct connection with the root switches. The network with Backbone FAS configured on it has just converged after about 30 seconds by unblocking the interfaces going from the access layer switch to the backup switches. After about 50 seconds, Banning Tree has rerouted the topology that did not have Backbone FAST enabled on it. We have just viewed how Backbone FAST can be used to converge a network more quickly after an indirect link failure occurs. I hope this video was informative and I thank you for viewing.